Were you there for the collection of my rice cooker, Harriet? Or what did we go and collect from my local shop? No. Oh, you no, said you were kettle. anticipating the delivery of your rice cooker. And it came. Wow. Have you cooked rice with it? No, I made porridge, actually. Why don't you just get a porridge cooker? Why do you get a rice cooker? There's no such thing as a porridge cooker. Why is the first thing... It just feels wrong that the first thing you use it for is to make... Because I picked it up after dinner time. And what's the next meal after dinner? Second dinner. Second dinner, oh, of course. The second dinner of hot Late porridge. Late night snack. <laughs> no, so, hot rice. Um, welcome to the members only... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so we're, this is our first second lockdown recorded episode. But the first one for only Patreons. The first one's for only Ooh. Patreons. It's uh, um, been a tough setup, I'd say. Uh, there's still a very loud ringing in my ears, which I think is related to the um, earphone. But this um, has gone. We really almost... ignored you talking about that. <laughs> yeah, really no one cared. To fix it. <laughs> no it's one ne- helped. This has been next to flawless compared to the ones we tried to do in the other lockdown. It's taken 25 minutes. Yeah, but the, the other ones we basically gave up and just recorded oh, some, yeah. you know, some poor quality episodes. Yeah, but this is yeah. is this fine quality. I think this is much much better quality, but I think I'm doing much of the heavy lifting, bringing the average up for the team. We're still going to get complaints, I think. Why? What do you mean? Because I'm using a 4K webcam. I'm using a a a Yeti Yeti microphone, a professional. I'm using a Yeti microphone. (laughs) A Yeti microphone? (laughs) I panicked. I was trying to say lying. You're lying on your bed. Look, I'm in transition. Your quality of your camera is actually very clear. Yeah, it's annoying. It's all right. It's 1080. I didn't want to use 4K for you guys, so I just. You've got a ring light. Have you lit yourself? No, this is just the. It's just no, the natural light. No, that's not real. Artificial. Oh, street light. Uh, it's not um, street light. Can you tell that I've um, I've used that touch up button? No, you keep saying that. <laughs> you said Zoom. that last time we did a Zoom call. There's a touch up button that um, I only found out about near the end of the year. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't I think do a lot of much. people have been using it for quite a while. But I mean, look, you could look. It doesn't look that different. Can you, can you turn it, it off so we can see the difference? This isn't even my real face. I don't know can how you, to turn it off. Can you put it onto I, your I've real looked. face? Um, I Harry, don't, don't use do a that. different face. Oh, no, I just put you a just clap press emoji. Clap. Oh, okay. no. I don't know how to change it. It was like a freak thing because I've I've been trying to find it for ages since I got it and um, I finally got it and then now look what happened. If you're listening to the audio Edit, version you don't of this impressed. podcast, um, you're like not actually missing much. You're genuinely not missing much. <laughs> yeah, sorry audio it's, people. It's don't touched worry. up. My face is touched up. Just to clarify for people just listening, it's not touched up in any way. It is. It's They've very made poor it. Quality. It's like a seven twenty rather than. I think that's what they do. They make it blurry, like as if you need glasses and you haven't got them on. I hope they can make like, give you oh. one of those filters. <laughs> <laughs> Everything looks better when you take your glasses off. <laughs> yeah. So you're uh, welcome, actually. Um, how have you both been? What a time. We're um we're in lockdown. Nearly done, though, aren't we? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. We lucky we recorded loads right before the last lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we yeah, knew yeah. it was coming. It looks like we've just been breaking the rules up to this point. <laughs> yeah, but the, but the, the rules, if you're working, as we are, 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 are very different, aren't they? They're essentially like carry on as normal. We could record even yeah. in a, this lockdown, but we didn't because we care. Res- yeah, respect. We uh, respect. <laughs> also, that big window in, in Sunil's flat, people would always walk by and look in because they'd see there was a oh, camera yeah, yeah. pointing at something. Yeah. So th- I remember the last time specifically there was someone walking down the road just staring for a good downstairs. two minutes. <laughs> was there? Oh, I didn't even no, notice that. Watching you there was a snitch on yeah, the street. Snitch time, wasn't it? Yeah. We should have next time we do it. Uh, we should walk everywhere holding the nanos just in case, <laughs> like to the toilet or if we want to get a cup of well, tea or something. Next time we should close the curtains, perhaps, and then put actual lights on. That's a better idea, actually. Never <laughs> do that. Yeah, might be easier to be honest. Um, but it's very nice to see you all. Actually, Elliot. I haven't seen you for ages. Good to see you. Uh, Harriet, you? I saw this week. What? Yeah. How? Why? That sounds Whoa, what's had... happened, Harriet? I've had a real whirlwind of a time. It's on social media if people want to look at her Twitter. It's on social media, yeah. Um, I came out with the truth um, there of what's, <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's been going Lord, down. What's the scandal? So, 
me and Bobby left our place we were living in like the third day of the lockdown and then moved into our new place very exciting all very good two days of just excitement living on our own this is great our own place this is so good two days then um there was a weird smell there was just a weird smell in the house and we were like oh the lady had cats that lived here before an animal smell was it animal smell an animally bad smell bad Definitely not bad. necessarily human, but bad. A bad smell. So then inhuman we and bad. <laughs> it's an inhuman bad smell for two days. He <laughs> just yeah. lived amongst that, but very happy. We're just like, we've just got to clean it out to deal with it. So we scrubbed the floor. We're like, maybe the cat piss, you know, cat's piss. That's what happens. Um, and so we cleaned the, the floor with bleach and everything. And there was still a, a bad inhuman smell. And so then we started Stuff. ripping out some cupboards, like trying to get to the smell. Right. And then Bobby was like, Hitting a, a cupboard with um, a hammer. That's Bobby now dealing That's with Bobby the after effects. Dealing of with it. the problem. Yeah. Okay, so just get anyway. to the problem quickly, and then we can explain what Bobby's I'm doing to do now. Build up. But, but I'm can to I say? Really can I say? Up. Wonderful storytelling up to this point. Thank you, Elliot. He does really one thing. I'm setting a yeah, scene. Yeah, Elliot, Sorry, Elliot's there. Wonderful. He can. Can you almost smell the bad inhumane smell? Yeah. I can. Not inhum- inhumane and inhuman. Inhuman. So no, don't be bored. Listen to the story. I'm not bored. I'm listening. Okay. And then so we pulled apart the cupboards and there was the biggest pile of rat shit <laughs> you've ever seen in your life. Some people might think, oh, it could have been mouse shit. <laughs> no, no, no. No, yeah. no, no. No mouse. I've lived amongst ma- mice before. How, how do you know the difference between rat and my- mice well, shit? Well, this is what I'm getting to, Sunil. Sorry. I've lived amongst mice right. many times. Not happily. Or have they lived amongst you? They, well, that would actually, that sounds quite um, beta, doesn't it? That like I live when we were in Edinburgh. Mice. Yeah. It was that mouse there, we didn't tell you about it. You see yourself as a mouse, and hence you live amongst it. Hmm? Something to think about? One crawled Sorry, over I... my face once, actually, while I slept. What, mouse? Yeah. And so anyway, you found... It sounds like Avatar, but with mice. You've just gone to live with them. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're pretending you're one of them. I've never seen Avatar, but I was loved Just like You would love Avatar. You would absolutely love it. No, it's too long. Um, so anyway, there's this pile. So rat, my shit is like, I know what my shit is like. It's like hamster shit. Like, I'm not an expert, but I've had, I lived amongst mice. I've had a hamster, a Russian dwarf one, but my sister had a bigger one. Anyway, Snilt, get your head out of your hands. So I was on my phone. This was massive, like massive. And there was piles of it it was like truly disturbing and then we found a sign underneath the oven door a note a mm. handwritten note oh and it God. said leave oven door open this this drawer for rat wrangling and what i mean i at first was like oh that must just be a joke that someone leaves you know how you move into places and people are like watch out for the crocodile i don't know i've I've just got to Google what wrangling means. Well, this is so... Red looked it up and he said that it's like... A, it's like the group of people, like, you live humanely around rats. Wrangling is the engagement in a long, complicated dispute or argument. Okay, well, maybe they were at war with the rats, but they've let the rats live there. So basically, we think they were letting the rats live in the Amongst house. Them. Things got out of hand. Anyway, it and was very over. stressful, but we didn't the know rats if they took were over. there. It's Bobby said they've won the battle, but we'll win the war. Um, anyway. Churchill, old Churchill himself. Is <laughs> that him downstairs mad. screaming at the rats? Yeah, it's it's in process at the moment. It's, Elliot, it's been hellish. So then it was. So then we called the exterminator guy. He turned up the next day, twenty-two year old, holding an air pellet gun because he said sometimes it's best to shoot them in the head. He shot a fox in a car the other day. Um, so, sorry, you shot a fox in a car? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not what? sure the circumstances behind it, but he did. Anyway, Elliot, you look disturbed, this is right. Anyway, he went in. I couldn't be anywhere near it. I was very disturbed, but I was in the other room trying to busy myself, and I heard the words family of rats, maybe ten, and the phrase big daddy rat. So, who rat. said that? Who said big daddy rat? The expert said big daddy the guy who the shot the fox in the car. <laughs> <laughs> he said right. big daddy rat he said there's like and then anyway i don't know what happened but we must have disturbed them 
because he left, he put some poison down and then things went ape shit. A rat ran over Bobby's foot, out the front door, round the corner, an old lady shouted, that was a rat! And then it ran into the neighbor's <laughs> garden. And then, and, then, and then the noises started, just what like... Not- the noise, like the noises, it was like a horror film. It was starting to get dark, and these rats started communicating, like trying to, trying to scare us off. So they were like speaking to each other amongst in the walls. Hang on, what was that noise? What's happening? What the- well, now, now there's another rat guy. We'll get to that. He's in the house at the moment. Anyway, there was rats in the walls. Isla, the cat, jumped. She was clinging to my chest like a baby. The three of us were just in the living room, like. What is happening? And we had to get this panel and a door fixed. Um, So this guy had to come and help us with the panel. So now don't yawn. This is actually a very good story. And it's scary as well. You should be scared. Anyway, he came around to fix the door. Anyway, it turned out it was a comic. Um, But he was um, very sweet and he fixed the door. But we had to fix it before we could leave. So like, go back a minute. A comedian? Yeah. A comedian came and... Yeah. He doesn't read your comedy anymore. But um, anyway... um, because I was like, you, you know that saying of like, you're either like, you're always a few feet from a rat or a comic. Or a comedian. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that saying. <laughs> this guy. Right. I don't know why people say that. Just say there's lots of rats and comics. But yeah. Um, anyway, it was getting dark and the rats were like alive. Like they were like, it was like mad. They were like going crazy. So then we had to go and gather our things and like throw some stuff in a bag to leave. But they were getting louder and louder. It was literally like they were threatening us and they were about to take over. And then we had to run. And so we ran to um, Red and Rosie's, um, our friend, you've read, been on the podcast, Red and um, Rosie's flat and moved in there. And um, we had to live there. Until. But now you're there. No, they, there's rats. another step to this. They Well, there's another step. Well, then things got more complicated because then Bobby had to do some filming and then he did a 15-minute COVID test and it came back positive, um, <laughs> <laughs> which was one of... It's been a week, hasn't it, for you guys? It's been a real week. So and they so moved then... to um, around the corner from me? No, no. So during oh. this time when we thought Bobby had COVID, we had, we had to tell Red and Rosie they couldn't leave their flat for two weeks and that we would also be oh there for two God. weeks with the cat. Um, then luckily we didn't trust it because it's a 15 minute one and they got um, a proper test and it came back negative. Um, so it was um, it was fine, but we had two days till we got the results when we thought he also had COVID and we had rats. But it's more likely he just has the plague. Just a cold rats. or nothing, in fact, because it was asymptomatic. Yeah. I think. But, um, um... Anyway, then we moved. Um, so we were there for a week. They were so sweet and took us in because we were very afraid. And then we moved into a studio in the Barbican um, for a few days where I saw yours truly yeah so I saw Bobby on the first night and then uh, nice Harriet nice for walk. a walk the day after and then Harriet for another walk the day after um, yeah. so yeah that was nice um, we went to the shops <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, it's, it's great it's just wandering around aimlessly with Harriet is quite interesting because I don't I need to go somewhere and do something or like because we were just walking around my local waitrose uh but harriet likes to look at every single um <laughs> not item but every single aisle she wants to go down yeah. and see what's there whereas i'm like before she walked in it. well no before she walked in i was like what do you want and i knew where the aisles were so i took her to each aisle but she kept like dawdling and moving to different aisles and then picking up stuff and putting it back we right. found an advent calendar that just had tea. So every different day of advent, you can have a different tea. How disappointing would that, that be? One that. tea bag in each day. Absolutely terrible. Someone and the at, gin one as well. Someone at work said his girlfriend good. got him one with a different jar of jam in every day. And I was like, you just end up with there's a jar at the end of the month. No, jar, yeah, it's how big are like the jars? I seem like that big, but also... Oh, like their, airplane size. Yeah, on their like... Four flavors of jam. What's that going to be? When do you have jam in an airplane? Do, don't. Well, you know when you have breakfast on an airplane, they give you. If you go in nice, nice airlines, they give you a breakfast with a little bottle of jam, and it's usually like that size. It's enough for a couple of slices of toast. A little plastic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A plastic one. Yeah. I'm sorry if you don't know about it. It's not my fault if you don't know about it. I've never it, been on a nice airline. I think I've never been on an airline. You're living You've in done, a 4K um, world. A tra- <laughs> <laughs> You've done transatlantic flights. <laughs> never um, got toast and a little bottle of jam. 
jam I do like jam and there is a huge selection of different fruits that can be made into jam actually Elliot do you want to list them so is it going to be like a damsel <laughs> that's one <laughs> apple damson isn't it apple not damsel jam. not woman damsel yeah, is a woman this... in Oh what? yeah, good point. Yeah, damson. You said damsel. I did. Yeah, no, yeah. He's googling it. Is the light? There's light. You're go- we it's can see before. you're googling it. It's reflected <laughs> in your glasses. He's googling weird flavors of. You jam. You can only think of one flavor of jam. <laughs> Thank God you don't design the jam advent calendars. Apple. Name, name a weird jam. Blackberry. Five seconds. <laughs> Blueberry. Go. Cantaloupe. You're googling it. I can see it in your glasses. <laughs> no, you, no, I'm not. How do you know that? You don't know anything. Yeah, you got a lot of light. I can literally see Google reflected in your glasses. Lemon. Lemon jam? That's lemon curd. curd. Lemon curd yeah. is a type of jam, though, no. isn't it? Gooseberry well, and Well, then it's marmalade. Flour. Is Cherry. marmalade a type of jam, or is yeah. it a whole different get thing? jam. 15 unusual yeah, jams jam. you have to try. That's a, that, you've still got another 10 days, though. Okay, all right, okay let me list off event. Let me list off the right, top 23. 25. Well, no, we want 25. I'm going to list off the top 23 Bon Mamon uh, Bear in mind, I was telling a really interesting story, but Snow was bored with yawning marmalade. as I told Blackcurrant, it. Blackcurrant, redcurrant, blackberry, counter. fig <laughs> preserve, man- <laughs> mango peach, musket, grape, blackberry, no, quince, No, musket purple, isn't fig. a thing. Yeah, it is. No. I'm genuinely, I'm looking at musket grape jelly. That is that is a Bon Mamon. I know they're saying Bon Mamon should make these. So uh, these they're, camp- <laughs> they're campaigning. Purple fig, <laughs> peach, black cherry... Cherry, four fruits, mixed berry, plum, wild four blueberry. Four fruits? You can say that for anything. You can have five <laughs> fruits, you can have six fruits. Apricot hyphen sense. raspberry, lemon curd, strawberry, raspberry, golden mirabelle plum. That, how's that number two? And then apricot. Well, apricot's number one. Yeah, that's their favourite one, according to Bon Appetit magazine. There's a, there's a jam magazine? No, it's just a food magazine. So it's something to think about, isn't it, that there's so many types of jam. I think the gin advent calendar is a slippery slope because you always open an advent calendar in the mornings, then you just have a shot of gin at breakfast, and once you start, it's hard to stop. I I saw a link to an article saying that um, advent calendars for adults were a sign of the um, weakness in Western society. I got one for my sister. Yeah. (laughs) But does it not depend on the type of advent calendar you've got? Like, no, just any any form of like it was just basically someone writing about how they didn't like it that people got treats. My mum gets me one every year. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I've had one since I was like twelve, but I thought I'd get one Elliot, this year because yeah, you a, must. Yeah. No, but like I've, I want one, I've, but I've quit chocolate for a month, so I thought you do that then for I Lent, go though, back not for Christmas. December, mm. and then also because my birthday to start of December, then it's like an excuse to get a big cake. Yeah. So the advent calendar is just part of it. Very interesting. You're you're treating yourself well. You've got to at the moment. I think you have to be hard on yourself for the upcoming um, apocalypse. (laughs) Bobby got a lockdown calendar because they're selling advent calendars early. So he's been having a Reese's Pieces. um... That's the one I want. Why is that a lockdown calendar? Uh, it's work? great. We got a lockdown calendar, so that was the start of lockdown. So he's been having one every day. But then we had to. um... What, just opening it on the wrong day? No, opening it on each day of lockdown. The I didn't know they did that. Lockdown, you open oh, your first actually... Reese's Pieces advent calendar. Lockdown calendar. But it's or an advent, advent calendar advent that you're lockdown. calling a lockdown calendar? No. It's actually specifically sold as a lockdown calendar? No, it's not. <laughs> yes, <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, That's nonsense. Yes, it can be whatever you want it to be. And so no, it's lockdown calendar. No, it can't. Calendar. An advent calendar is for the days of advent. For the days of lockdown? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're now back. There is the constant threat of rats. The other day we heard a noise and Bobby spent an hour going room to room holding a golf club. Um, we've got um, a more humane rat expert in the house at the moment. Call him what you called him before. Say rat man really loudly. What well, so you can oh, hear. Can't say rat. He's got very, very good reviews, this guy. And he, like, we really trust him because we have to. Yeah, you've got to assume because by you have tonight to. they're all gone, yeah. <laughs> we really trust him because we have to. <laughs> no, yeah. A glowing recommendation. Did you ever use one of those, uh, like, alarms why, that are really whispering? Oh, yeah, those high pitched ones. They're really that, good. They I think they work, work for mice. He says mm. they don't work. But Harriet, worry. stop whispering. He can't he hear said you. He might put food down to tempt them back so he's going to bring the rats back 
That's so he's going he's to put to food down to tempt. They get there. They get them back. Oh, so they don't like die in the walls. No, he's going to find out. He's going to track them back to where they live by laying food down. I think that's what she said. Yes, Is that right? Trap them, but then... You say it louder. He's, he can't hear you, Harriet. He doesn't know you took it. Harriet, Harriet, I swear to God. Say. What if the big daddy rat comes? Oh, for God's sake. But how big do you think the big daddy rat is? I think the size of... I think bigger than Isla, because Isla was scared. So I think bigger than Cat. Do you reckon it's bigger than your head? I have quite a big head, and yes, yeah. I can believe it's bigger than my head. You think and the rat the is bigger is, than your big head? If you have rats, everyone just tells you the word... Like, people have been telling me... Jen Brister told me they, um, they're they really protective of your, their kids, so they'll attack you. Someone else told me they can jump really high. People told me they bite your face. Like, no one has been helpful in this situation whatsoever. I think um, I think you'll get the better of them. Me, me personally. Well, uh, with I the money do? you're spending on rat catchers, I think you'll finally get the better, <laughs> yeah. better of them. You've essentially kept this man in rat catching employment for a week now. This is a new, this is a new guy. Um, right. But the problem is, I yeah, I very quickly just went so against what? all my vegan. So the beliefs. old guy, you did what? I just went against all my vegan beliefs. Yeah, you immediately. I was like, how do you feel about killing them? And she just said, great, want to, want them to die. Yeah, because what I think, if they're threatening you, it's like if a lion was threatening they're not me, threatening you, I though. wouldn't just lie down. Yes, Neil, they bite your face off, and they are they don't unhygienic, want to bite your face and they, you're allergic to them. Not allergic. You're allergic um, to them. They're unhygienic, so they pee everywhere, and then you eat the pee, and then you die. Well, we, how how about if you eat your cat's disease. pee? You'll die if you eat your cat's pee as well. <laughs> no, but I'm not going to do that. Wait, did you say Wait. if a lion was threatening you, you wouldn't just take it lying down? Would you fight no. back? Yeah. She said lying down. <laughs> She said she wouldn't if a if a if a if a lion was attacking her, she wouldn't take it lying down. What you would? <laughs> Neil, people are paying for this, <laughs> and that's why I said that. <laughs> Wait, yeah. are you, what you wouldn't fight a lion? You just lie down and die. If a you lion was a lion. threatening me, I'd be like, take whatever you want, <laughs> kill me, just do it. Yeah, but lions don't listen to reason. Well, what are they listening? What to? about what a deer? The law what of the jungle. Do I have to like win? Do I like beat it in a in a card game or something? You have to read it. The law of the jungle, and and that's it. You say like man beats lion. Who yeah. wrote that? The law of the jungle. A lion, because it's the king of the jungle, isn't it? Mm. Winners write the rules. Jungles. What is a jungle? Lots of trees. That what the trees with the low hanging bits. That's a jungle. Is that right? Is it like woods but shorter? Um, no, it's like woods but higher, and they have dangling bits. Would you ever eat a rat? No. Like a roasted rat? No. What if it was the only food you had? No, because I hate it so much, I'd be. You'd sick. rather die, but you've won. No, ag- why you've am I won. dying? If you roast a rat, you've won against the rat. But I've already won it. I just don't want them in my in my house. Uh, we're encroaching spoiler territory for the Q and A this month, so let's. Uh... Oh, okay. Is, what is the Q&A? Do you is have it about her eating house? rats? <laughs> <laughs> People have to tune in to find out how many rats will you eat for £12 a month. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, they're supposed to be quite tasty, apparently. Yeah, I imagine so it's I've... just like normal meat, isn't it? I suppose, uh, yeah, I suppose anything is if you flavour it well enough and tasty. cook it properly. Apparently, yeah, and then Bobby told me they can live off human waste. They can just eat your shit and then they just live forever. So maybe you should eat what some What can horrible. you do? Forever. Some, if you eat some poison and then... Forever of you. So I have to poison myself. No, but Elliot, I think yeah. that... <laughs> I think that might... I'm but isn't it remarkable the that they're so, you know, resilient? Oh, stop admiring them. I'm not admiring them. I'm, g- I'm, I'm playing devils, I'm playing rats I'm going to take them on, put them in your flat, and then we'll see how you care. Where are they going to go in my flat? All around on your face. <laughs> 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 the porn on your head. <laughs> then, you, then you're not going to be admiring them, are you? I'm you moving. Could be very afraid. I'm, I'm moving in a couple of months to um, previous guest. <laughs> moving in with the previous guest of the podcast. Yeah. Um, so See maybe if you can, can take guess the which rats. one. See if they can guess which one. Hmm. Who, guess who's going to be my new flatmate from our previous guests? My tummy just wrong. There's a space for you to guess. Um, Elliot, um, how have you been? Yeah, I've been. Uh, I've been fine, thank you. No small animals here. I bought a Christmas candle this week and it's mm. the only thing keeping me sane what oh, kind of christmas candle yeah. is it red nice no, red but flavor like... <laughs> are candles worth it like what's the point of candles yeah. are they nice or what it just really relaxes what you it's just candles? you no, just but, walk into like... a room and go it's christmasy in here 
Yeah, but is, yeah. what's the point of like if you've got a, a house that's absolutely stuffed full of rats? What's, what's the... one candle going to do? I'm not. We're not talking about rats. You don't. I know, know, but I'm just saying. It's like, will one candle? Will one? Ca- I'm saying, should I buy a candle? Buy a candle. Buy a treat candle. yourself. You seem like from? a candle person to me. Thank you. Um, I've got a diffuser, but where yeah, do you get like... candles? <laughs> where that's do you electric get candles? candles. My mum told me that you have to be careful and not knock them over because they can burn down the house. No way, is that true? Yeah, Candles can then... burn. <laughs> you, you, she told me that literally last week. <laughs> your, mother, your mother told you. <laughs> don't put your hand on it. Now listen, don't stick your hand on the bottom of an iron. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I got um, a carrot cake candle for Bobby and it was really great. Really recommend. But where's Actually, good candles from? Where are good that candles was Goose from? Creek candles. What's They're that? the really like um, attacky big ones that just smell amazing. I'm gonna get an Aesop one. Oh, of course, yeah. Why are they so expensive? I've never understood that. I like, don't understand. Some of them are so expensive. Like Fifty quid. Yeah. What is and it? You it's give them for... as a gift. Someone's like, uh, "Thanks," like it doesn't look that good. You know what I mean? Mm. It's, it's an easy gift to cl- get. It's though, become the classic thing. Yeah, it? but like, like it's not that. that what about Does Yankee candles? Good. They're That's the classic. I, candle, I've got a Yankee. Yeah. Yeah. Happy with it. What? What's I the love, smell of I've it? I've got though? the vanilla cupcake Red. one. <laughs> Why do you? Want <laughs> What's it smell of though? Red isn't a smell unless you got synesthesia. Christmas yeah. festive. It's Red. Christmas festive red. <laughs> <laughs> Have you bought anything in the Black Friday sales? There it is. <gasps> Elliot. Oh, it's a bit... So how it's long just, it says Merry no Christmas flavor. on it. It's no flavour, it's just Christmas. Merry it Christmas. just wishes you a Merry Christmas every time you light it. Be careful though, because they can um, burn down houses. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pop it back then. <laughs> Where did you get it from, Elliot? So, no, any supermarket, any <laughs> shop, order it online. You can't go into any what shop and get a candle. You? Oh my God, Elliot's oh, I thought you were going to burn, burn our faces. sticker. Oh, I hope you've all received your Sister, stickers. Right? Oh no, that's the, this is not this lot. You guys don't get stickers. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Well, some of our listeners, it. some of our listeners have yes, being it, a patron. Some of our listeners did receive stickers because they were part of a special introductory offer. But if you um, do want them, Sinel will pay or send them to you. Yeah, so I know it. Lo- I, I I sent them out, but they looked quite threatening because I it was in handwritten brown <laughs> envelopes that I spent literally a day trying to sort. I went to the post office. That was an absolute fucking nightmare. Anyway, I hope Did you, you spell that. out their names in newspaper cuttings, each letter individually, <laughs> and then yeah, stick I, them on? I didn't know what else to do. Like, how do you make a letter not not look threatening? Very easily. I've never well, written a letter it. that would appear threatening. Yeah. Like, how do you make a brown envelope with stick like not look threatening when you address it? What to did someone? you write inside? Nothing. You, just, you, you literally just put the stickers just in. Put you didn't say. In. I bought thank a little bag, a little bag for the stickers, and put the stickers in a bag, and then put it in the envelopes for the you people. Didn't put thank you or anything in it. Where do I put thank you? Just write a card saying thank you so much. Or or that means I've got to order a load more cards. <laughs> For God's sake. You could have dot, dotted the eyes with a little heart or something or a smile. You could have put a little chocolate in or something. Yeah. I think my... You could have hand-delivered them and said, yes. thank you for supporting my art. So far away, the people. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's lockdown. I can't just fly around the world deliver- hand-delivering yeah, stickers. Yeah, you can. It's for work. It. Yeah. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> um, have you guys bought anything in the Black Friday sales? Have, um, you, been, have you lost your minds curtains. yet? I bought curtains. You bought curtains? Have you, bought, have you bought a candle? I bought a candle. No, I haven't. That was on sale, actually. I might buy a candle on sale. Where, where are you getting your candles from? Actually, I bought some dog shampoo. Oh, no, I can't say that here. Oh, yeah, I can. I bought dog shampoo in a sale. Why can't you, why can't you say that? Um, because it's a surprise for the dog. <laughs> your, dog doesn't, dog. your dog doesn't subscribe to our podcast, yeah. so I don't understand. He listens for free. <laughs> Wait, have you got a dog? Fucking no. hell. Have you got a dog? No, my parents have a dog. And then oh. I was like, oh no, the dog were here with my mum and sister, but she listens to it on headphones. No, the frequency is too low for the dog to know this is... Say it, say it in a higher pitch voice and maybe the dog will figure out. I'll never out say it in a higher pitch voice, no way. It's a really smart dog, that. actually. Yeah, but not smart enough to figure out it's Christmas present from you through yeah, the medium I of a podcast. Do you reckon dogs know what podcasts are? Don't, obviously not. Why are you thinking about 
it'll be that'll exist. They'll have like dog casts on online somewhere. Yeah, but the so dog's not dogs enough to be like. Yeah, but the dog's not going to be thinking. Yeah. Oh, it's time I had a podcast, which is different from any other sort of cast. I I bet what they've got instead is like ASMR. So they'll have they'll <gasps> nice have a really high pitched thing saying like. You're no, but good, my question wasn't. Good boy. What a good boy. My, my question wasn't can dogs hear things. I'm saying, do they know what a podcast is? <laughs> and the right. answer is clearly 100 percent not. Because in order to know what a podcast is, you'd have to know what every other medium is. I just yeah, keep thinking of the word dog cast, <laughs> and I think we should start a dog cast channel. <laughs> we just do podcasts for dogs. But yeah, that, that works. What would we for do humans, on it, it looks like... like we're not saying anything at all. Yeah. yeah what, Oh, we just in a really high pitch voice say you're a good yeah. boy. Just to, and we no, still just talk about comedians. dog related news. Yeah. <laughs> and then news for dogs. Yeah, we just tell them about what's happening with it's the dogs. Just, it's not just sad stories anyway. <laughs> yeah. That was like my idea for Google Cats, wasn't it? No. Google it's Cats. Go- Google for cats. Cats. Someone at the door. Was it a rat? <laughs> is, he, is, he, is he looking for rats? Currently knocking on the door looking for rats. Yeah. Yeah. You're, are, you, is he, are you a little rat? <laughs> is, is there a little rat door? Yes. Next to your door? You're not the big yes. daddy rat. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're recording an episode while the rat catcher is in your house. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It, it is very much us. It's very I, um, much on brand. I might have to go um, in one minute and then um, come back and. Um, uh, well, let's. Um, Let's wrap Can up this. Can we have this... a pause before our, before our next recording? <laughs> I think we've come to the end of this uh, yes, episode. Yes, I think so. <laughs> um, so. <laughs> Thanks so much for subscribing, everybody. I'm sorry if you got stickers and they were in a threatening envelope without a thank you. Yes, yeah, and let us just like going, here's the stickers. <laughs> let us know if you haven't received them and you should as well. Give us yeah, send us a message on Patreon. Do send them to Snell specifically. Um, specifically, I'd like to hear from uh, Rahul. Uh, uh, I, I need your address, please. Okay. Okay. And let us know if you think dogs know what podcasts are as well. <laughs> or do you it's want a good help? philosophical question. If you would, in theory, subscribe to a Patreon of a dog podcast. Yeah, if you were a dog, or if you're not a dog. Well, humans might enjoy it anyway. Uh, if there's any dogs listening, if you've, if you've got your card details to hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's Maybe all up for grabs. Maybe the they could do, um, like, touch. Yeah. Yeah, 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 NFC chips in their collar. Yeah. Yeah. And then they can just do contactless when they go. Anyway, on the train we're just as well. spitballing. We'll All have right. a separate meeting about um, <laughs> dog, dog podcast. podcast. <laughs> dog. Thanks for listening. Um, we'll see you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.